Whenever asked, my message uh, must invariably return to the subject of global capitalism and the hollowing out effect that this system has on all of existence. Uh, I believe that we're facing a crisis of capitalism. It's a crisis that resonates throughout all realms, uh, environmental, political, economic, of course, social, but most importantly, the cultural realm, because the crisis of capitalism is one of culture. Uh, the philosopher and dramaturge Antonin Artaud once wrote that there was a time when the artist was a sage. The artist embodied within their person all of the arts, all of the sciences, was a magician, a shaman, uh, a professor, and a magistrate. And a society that siphons art out of the rest of life is one which is degrading. So our current condition, uh, wherein art has become yet another commodity for consumption, uh, yet another asset class for speculation for the profit of the 1%. Uh, this, this is the nature of our crisis, and it is one that is not an unhappy accident, but rather the political and revolutionary force has been siphoned out of art and auctioned off in order to constrain us from creative strategies for our liberation. The social practice that is today considered the avant-garde or uh, the cutting edge of art is really the originary force and substance and organiz organizing force of our society. Art has always been a social practice. From 30,000 years ago in the Chauvet Cave in France, uh, where artists drew humans uh, with the heads of animals and trees who could sing, to today in modern day Australia, where Aboriginal artists continue the work of their ancestors, drawing uh, works that began 10,000 years ago. So I believe that we are fortunate to be witnessing the beginning of the end of capitalism, as when in drawing a circle, the pencil touches the paper, makes a revolution, looks back upon its beginning, and winds up at its originary mark. Uh, we are regaining control over our art and our culture that we can use as a tool for our collective liberation.